Super hyped to have Michael Baidu lead our session for us today. Michael hails all the way from New York City. He's an Ashtanga yoga teacher. And yeah, looking forward to it. Michael, what can we expect? Is it going to be any fun? Is it going to be any good? Over to you. It's going to be fun. So let's start first in the cross leg position. And what we want to do is we want to get ourselves into this Ujjayi breathing. So by taking an inhale through the nose, what we're looking to do is that we're trying to create a hollow sound within our throat. And for Ujjayi, it represents victorious breath. So I'll start by inhaling. And then exhaling as well. So if you ever watch Star Wars, Darth Vader, that echo voice is the same sound that you're impersonating within this video. So we'll inhale two more times. And exhale. One more inhale. And exhale. So now we're gonna get ourselves into a natural breathing state. Let your breath, let your breath just flow the way it wants to go. And now we're gonna move into Nadi Shadana as we prepare. So what you wanna do is that you wanna fold your index finger as well as your middle, your middle finger as you use your pinky and your ring finger to close your left nostril. And you'll inhale through your right nostril deep and then you'll exhale by closing the right nostril and exhaling out through the left nostril. So if you watch me, I can do the first demonstration. And then we'll exhale. So let's get started. So inhale. And exhale. We got two more to go. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale right, and exhale left. So now we're going to do the left side, and by inhaling left, and exhale right. Inhale left, and exhale right. Inhale left, exhale right. Last one, inhale left, and exhale right. All right, so we'll get into the front of our mat as we prepare for Uddiyana Kriya. So we want to have our, the palms of our hands pressing into the quadriceps of our legs. And we want to have our chin close to our chest as we take a deep inhale and then we'll exhale all the air out to suck in the belly. And this is, well, this is where, it, where it, it triggers the Uriyata Bandha, where it's the upward flying line. You're lifting the abdominals to where the abdominal is sucked in and you're able to lift it close to the chest. So we'll take a deep inhale and exhale. Exhale everything out and suck in the belly and hold. 
one, two, three, four, and five. All right, release. So we're just gonna do one of that and then we'll get started into some citations. So now we wanna get our body into that breathing, the ujjayi, within four seconds inhaling and four seconds exhaling. So we're gonna do three sun citation A's and then followed by three sun citation B's. And I'll perform these asanas with you as we go along our Ashtanga Vinyasa series. So feet together, hands to the waist, hands to the sides, and inhale the arms up, look at your thumbs. Exhale, fold forward, look at your nose. Inhale the chest up, look at your nose. Exhale or step or jump back into plank position. Look at your nose. Inhale, upward facing dog. Look at your nose. Exhale, downward facing dog. Look at your belly button. And what you want to do is that you want to push the heels back as you're inhaling and exhaling. And that's one. Two. Push the hips back. Three. You should feel this within your calf muscle as well as your hamstrings. Four. Slowly bend the knees as you exhale. And five. Inhale, step or jump to the front of your mat. And you want to exhale and fold. If your hands can touch the mat, so be it. Inhale the arms up, all the way up. Look at your thumbs. And exhale, gently arms to the sides. So we have two more to go. Inhale the arms up, lengthen. And exhale, fold forward. Look at your nose. Inhale the chest up, look at your nose. Exhale, step or jump back into plank position and lower as you look at your nose. Inhale, upward facing dog. Look at your nose. And exhale, downward facing dog. Look at your belly button. So you're pushing your hips back. You're keeping, you're trying to ro internally rotate your shoulders in where it's as you're slowly pushing back. And that's two. Three. That's four. Slowly exhale, bend the knees and five. Inhale, step or jump. Inhale, look at your nose. Exhale, fold forward. Look at your nose. Inhale, the arms up. Look at your thumbs. Stretch, stretch, stretch. And exhale. Arms to the sides as you gently lower. So we got one more to go. Let's do this. Inhale, the arms up. And exhale, fold forward. Inhale, the chest up, look at your nose. Exhale, step or jump back into plank position. Lower as you look at your nose. Inhale, upward facing dog. Look at your nose. Exhale, downward facing dog. Look at your belly button. Slowly push the hips back. If your heels can touch the mat, go ahead and move your feet back. You want to keep your feet about hip width distance apart. Three. Four. And 
five. If you slowly bend the knees, inhale, step or jump. And exhale, fold forward. Inhale, the arms up, all the way up, lengthen. And exhale, gently, arms to the sides. So now we're moving to Sun Citations B. So we're going to bend our knees as we inhale, the arms up, and exhale, fold forward as you would. Inhale, the chest up, look at the nose. Exhale, step or jump back and lower into Chaturanga or plank. Look at your nose. Inhale, upward facing dog. Look at your nose, bring the chest forward. Exhale, downward facing dog. Look at your belly button. Bring the right foot forward, warrior one. As you turn the left foot to 45 degrees, inhale, arms up. And exhale, fold forward, back into plank position. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. The left foot steps forward. Inhale, warrior one. And exhale, folds forward, back into plank position. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. And breathe. One. Two. Three. Four. Slowly bend the knees and five. Inhale, step or jump. And exhale, fold. Remember, bend the knees, inhale, arms up. And exhale, arms to the sides. So we have two more to go. I believe in you. Let's do this together. Bend the knees, inhale, arms up. Let's go. Exhale, fold forward. Look at your nose. Inhale the chest up, look at your nose, exhale step or jump back into plank position and lower, look at your nose. Inhale, upward facing dog, look at your nose, exhale downward facing dog, look at your nose. Turn the left foot 45 degrees, right foot steps forward, inhale, warrior one. Exhale, fold forward, back into plank position. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Turn the right foot into 45 degrees. Inhale, left foot steps forward, warrior one. Look at your thumbs. And exhale, fold forward, back into plank. Inhale, upward facing dog. Look at your nose. Exhale, downward facing dog. Look at your belly. And breathe. One. Two. Three. Your body should feel nice and hot. As you're probably sweating right now. Four. And slowly bend the knees. Four, five. Inhale, step or jump. And exhale, fold forward. Bend the knees, inhale, arms up. And exhale, arms to the sides. Let's do one more. Bring this together. Bend the knees, inhale, arms up, look at your thumbs, and exhale, fold forward, look at your nose. 
Inhale the chest up. Look at your nose. Exhale, step or jump back into plank position and lower. Inhale, upward facing dog. Look at your nose. Exhale, downward facing dog. Look at your belly button. The left foot turns 45 degrees. Right foot steps forward. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, fall forward. Back into plank position and lower. Inhale, upward facing dog. Look at your nose. Exhale, downward facing dog. Look at your belly button. The right foot turns 45 degrees. Left foot sets forward. Warrior one. Inhale, arms up. And exhale, fall forward. Back into plank position. Look at your nose. Inhale, upward facing dog. Look at your nose. Exhale, downward facing dog. Look at your belly button and breathe. This is our last one. Let's do it together. One. You can, you can bend the elbows if you need to. And you can bend the knees if you need to as well. So three. This is the last one. Let's finish it. Let's finish it. You see, see, we're all we're, we're, we're all we're all going. Four. And five. Slowly bend the knees. Inhale, step or jump. And exhale, fold forward. Bend the knees. Inhale, arms up. Last one. Let's make this. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. And exhale. Arms to the sides. So now we're going to move on to the standing sequence. So big toe pose. So we're going to inhale our feet apart about hip width distance as we exhale and grab hold of our big toes using our index and middle finger. We're going to inhale, lengthen the chest, look at our nose, and then exhale, fold forward as we slowly pull and lengthen the spine down for one, two, three, four, and five. Inhale, the chest up only. Exhale, have the hands to the waist. Inhale, back up. And exhale, jump, arms to the sides. So now we're gonna move to triangle pose and revolved triangle. So inhale, arms up to a T. Exhale, as you move the right foot 90 degrees and fold towards your toes. Grab hold of the big toe using your index and middle finger and breathe. You can bend the knees if you need to as you gaze to your thumbs. Three, four, and five. Slowly look down. Inhale, arms to a T. Switch to leg position. Have the right foot steps forward again. As you set the left foot 90 degrees, going to the left. So now you're going to exhale, grab hold of the big toe. If you can't, you can grab the ankle or the knee if you need to. For one, two, three, let your body go as wherever it wants. Four, it's okay if you can't land a certain pose or if you're struggling. And five. Inhale, back up. And now we're gonna do revolved triangle. So now we're going to take our hand and then place it right alongside the right. You can bend the knee if you need to, or try your best to straighten the right leg for one, two, three, four, and five. Exhale. 
exhale, look look at your palm. Inhale, arms back up to a T. And now we're gonna switch on to the other side. We're gonna play, gently place the palm of our hand right alongside our left foot. As we lift the left hip up and pull the right hip towards our left foot. And we're gazing at our thumbs for one, two, three, four, and five. Gently low, gently exhale, look at your palms. Inhale, arms to a T. And then we're gonna exhale, inhale, sorry, inhale, back into Samasati position. So now we're gonna move onto side angle pose or Parsvakonasana with revolved side angle and Pravita Parsvakonasana. So we're gonna step to the right again, arms to a T, but instead we wanna take a longer step. The right foot is bent 90 degrees and we're placing our hand alongside our thigh. If we can place it farther here, perfect. If you can't, here is perfectly fine. And we hold on to here as we look at our, our fingers for one, two, three, four, and five. Inhale, arms to a T. And now we're gonna go on to the other side. Remember, if you're able, you go ahead and place the palm of your hand onto the side and gently lift for one. Two. Three. four, and five. Exhale, inhale, arms to a T. And now we're gonna do revolved side angle. So we're gonna take our knees to this side and we're gonna start by lowering ourselves here in this position. As we take our palms, almost like we're doing the Egyptian Dance right now. So we take the, or we're trying to take our armpits alongside our knees as we gaze up to the ceiling. And then you're taking the palm, the, your right arm within the palm, pressing down the left palm. And you'll see that your armpit will, will slowly touch your knee. And you're gazing up for one, two, three, four, and five. We're gonna inhale, back up. Arms to a T. Then we're gonna do the other side. Now, if that felt a bit easy, you can go ahead and just straighten the right foot. And again, pressing the left palm one to the right for a deeper revolved stretch. And if you can, if this seems a bit easier, you want to get a bit further, you can go ahead and place the palm of your hand onto the mat and lengthen for one. Two, three, four, and five. Exhale, turn the head. Inhale, arms to a T. And exhale, back into Samasati position. Okay, so our next pose is Utita Hasta Padangudasa, but it's hand to big knee. So 
To make it easier, I'll demonstrate and then we'll go together. So I have my hand placed alongside as I lift the knee up and hold for one, two, three, and then for five, and then I have it for here, as well as here as we do it together. So we'll do five, five, and then five. So let's begin. We'll do it together. So for one, two, three, four, and five. Now switch to the other side. Just turn it. And then you need to look to your left for one, two, three, four, and five. Now we're gonna move slowly, move it into the middle, into the front for one, two, three, four, hold it, hold it, and five, jelly glory. And now we're gonna do the left side. Lift the left leg, hold the knee for one, two, three, four, and five. We're gonna slowly move the knee outwards as we look at our right side now for one, two, three, four, and five. Now we're going to move it to the center. We're going to hold it without the hand support for one, two, lower the waist, makes it easier, three, four, and five. We got it. We got it. We got it. So now we're going to go into chair pose and we'll hold for three. Inhale. Inhale for one, two, three, four, And five. Gently lower. Inhale the chest up. And exhale, step or jump back and lower. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. The right foot steps forward. Yes. Inhale, arms up. Warrior one for one. Two, three, four, and five. Inhale to the to the left. Inhale for one, two, three. four, and five. Exhale into warrior two for one, two, three, four, and five. We're gonna exhale to the right for one, two, three, four, and five. Exhale and lower, and exhale into back, into plank position. Inhale, upward facing dog, lifting your nose. Exhale, downward facing dog, lifting your belly button. And now we're gonna walk our feet Almost so much like a jump rope. 
and we'll lower our legs for Dandasana, or Staff Pose. So, as we stand and have our feet together, we're going to place our palms onto the sides of our legs, and then we'll press for one. Two, three, four, and five. And then we're going to hold, fold into Pachimottanasana or seated forward fold for 15 breaths, for, for, for 10 breaths, for one. Two, three, four, and five. Slowly lift the head. Are we doing it for ten breaths? Six, seven, eight. Nine and ten. Slowly lift the head up. And then what we're gonna do is that we're gonna do a jump back. We're gonna take the legs close to us and then walk it back into plank position and lower. Inhale, upward facing dog. Look at your nose. Exhale, downward facing dog. Look at your belly button. And then we're gonna step forward into the seated position. And now the next pose is a upward plank. So we're gonna place the hands, feet, so our hands are about 12 inches apart. And we'll point our feet and then we'll slowly lift for one. Lift the hips up, two, three, four, and five. Gently lower. And we'll go back into our jump back. Into plank position. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. And then we'll step and jump through. Onto our next position. So we're gonna do head to knee pose or Janu Susasana A. And as we press our, the heel of our feet within the, in, within the inside of our left leg, we're folding forward and lengthening our spine towards our left leg. So we wanna align our torso with, with the thigh. And we lower for one. Two, three, four, and five. Chatter release. And then we'll switch on to the other side. So then we'll inhale, and then we'll exhale, fold forward. Four, one. Two, three, four, and five. Slowly lift the head up and release. So now we're going to move on into boat pose position as we Lift the legs up and try to gather our knees up as well too, knees together. And we're gonna hold, and we do this about five times for one. Two, three, four, And five. 
cross the legs. Inhale, slowly lift up. And exhale down, and we'll hold again. For one. Two. This is definitely work for your core. Three. Come on, you can keep doing it. Four. Hold, hold, and five. Gently cross the legs. Inhale up. We got three more to go. Four, one. Two. Three. Four. If you can press it up, you can go ahead and do that. And five. Cross the legs, inhale up, and exhale down. Two more, let's go. Four, one. Two, three, four. Remember, keep the knees together. And five. Cross the legs, inhale up, and down. Last one, let's do it. One, two, Three, four, and five. Inhale up, and exhale down. So now we're gonna do butterflies, or bada konasana. So we're gonna take our feet together, and we wanna use our elbows to press our thighs down. And if we can open the heels over our legs, we'll do that, and we'll hold as we keep our spine lengthened and pointing straight to the ceiling for one. Two, and if you can walk your feet back, go ahead and do it. If you have any issues, you can walk your feet forward as well too. Three, four, and five. Inhale the chest back up and then roll lower. So now, we're gonna move on to the finishing sequence to where we're moving to bridge pose, or set to Sarvangasana. So you wanna have your feet onto the mat. You can place, use your hands to grab the ankles. And what you wanna do is that you wanna lift the core and abdominals up as you keep the shoulders onto the mat for one. Two. Three. Four. And five, lower down, breathe, breathe, breathe. And then inhale, lift for one. Two, three, four, and five. Gently lower again. One more. Inhale up and hold for one. Two. Three. Four. And five. Gently lower. And now we'll just lengthen out the legs, let it breathe a little bit, because the nose probably feeling it within the quadriceps. And then we'll just inhale, slowly lift every spine slowly as we fold forward for 15 breaths. So you probably might have issues in getting to the toes. You can go ahead and bend the knees. Keep the knees together and then grab using 
like a clamp, like a crab around the feet. And you're slowly pushing the heels as you're breathing for one. Two. And wherever it stops, let it let it be. Three. Four. And five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Last one. Last one. And fifteen. Train lift the head. And now we're gonna lay back slowly. Slowly roll your spine. Onto the mat and lower. So now the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna lift the legs up. And this is an alternative of Sarvangasana shoulder stand. And we'll hold on to this position for about 15 breaths. So you're just keeping the legs and the knees together. You should feel it within your core for one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Nine. You can bend the knees if you need to and hold into this position right here as well too. Ten. One. Two. Three. Four. And five. So now we're going to slowly take the legs over our heads if we can. You might have to use your hands to support and try to keep the legs straight and hold. Four. Two. I let the feet hang wherever it wants to go. Three. Four. And five. So now we're going to jump lower. Roll, roll, roll. We're going to point our feet as we lift the head up and the arms together for one. Two. Three, four, and five. Gently lower. And you can sit into this position for, for a while. Just breathe. Let it go to the natural state. And we're almost done. So now I'm just gonna lay the feet flat. Slowly lift. As we move in to our next position. So we want to cross the legs. We want to get into a meditation position. That's for we'll hold for, for 10 breaths. One. 
So Four. Five. Six. Seven. Ten. So now we're entering towards the end. What you want to do is that you want to grab the elbows in the back of your hands and gently lower as you fall. Wherever your body wants to go in the cross plank position for one. So, three, four, and five. Slowly lift up and place the palm of your hands onto the mat as you lift your chest forward for one two three four And five. And now our last, well, second to last, is Tolasana. As we lift ourselves from cross leg position for 10 breaths. One. If you get down, just come back up. Two. Three. Four. Six, seven, eight, nine, last one, last one, hold, 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 and ten. So now gently lower and just lift your body on the mat. For a nice avasana. And we'll hold on to this for 20 breaths. You've done an amazing job. You've went through the whole Ashtanga Vinyasa series with me. Not the primary series, but our, our modified series of Ashtanga Vinyasa. One. We'll just let it all go. Two, 
Please maintain the same breathing as well too. Three, in through the nose, four seconds, and out through the nose, four seconds. Four, five, six, seven, Now let your body and, and breath flow naturally for just 10 seconds. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Savasana, you can still rest in the position. But thank you for joining my class, and I hope to see you more in the future. Take care.